Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to import image planes uh, as references to model from in Autodesk Maya. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, in my uh, and I'm only going to import these into my orthographic viewports. So I'm going to import it into my front and my side viewport. So in order to do that uh, on the bottom here uh, about one, two, three, four, five icons from the left. If you, I'm hovering over it, you see it says image plane. It looks like a little Polaroid picture coming out of one of those old cameras, right? Um, at least it does to me. That's what it reminds me of. So that's our image plane icon. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then. We are going to locate uh, where we saved our uh, sword concept.jpg image to. So we're going to locate the location of it, and once you find it, once you click on it, you'll see the little image here, and just go ahead and click open. And we're going to do the same thing in our side viewport. So click the little image plane icon. And then locate the file. You can just double click it also. And now you'll see in your perspective view that you have two of these images here for our um, object that we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, something that I like to do, um, I like to drag these off to the side. Uh, you can just do it this way, or holding X, it will snap to the grid. So if you hold X, you can snap it to the grid, and I'm just going to snap mine to the end of the grid right here. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one, holding X, it'll snap to the grid. And tapping F, of course, as a reminder, will zoom in on your object. So now that I've got it like this, um, you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this and submit it. However, uh, one last thing I'd like to do, make sure that if you do submit the screenshot, um, that if you uh, you make sure that you show it in the front and the side viewport image plane. So you could just take like a screenshot like this, and that would be totally fine. Um, but one last thing I would like to show you. This is totally an optional thing, but I prefer it as I model. Um, I like to keep this off. So I I uh, by default. If I select on this in, in the attribute editor under image plane shape 2, um, you could even label these if you'd like. So this is front, and it says image plane 1. In my channel box, you could have done it in the attribute editor too. I just like to do it here. Channel box. Um, uh, front image plane sword and I can go ahead and name this one also and now I've got front image plane sword and side image plane sword um, however in my attribute editor it just makes a little bit more sense now that it's labeled under my sword shape here um, I'm going to go through looking through camera, and that's just a preference of mine. If you prefer to model, uh, when we get into it here shortly, if you prefer to model with uh, them, them being displayed in the viewport, that's totally fine too. It's just a matter of preference. I like it off, um, so I just model off of here and here, and then my perspective, if I need to make adjustments, I will. Um, and if I needed to, I can always toggle them back on by going back to in all views. Um, so just go ahead and submit a screenshot. If you submit a screenshot like this, that's totally fine. Um, and it's totally fine also if you have these in all views also. So if you submit a screenshot like this, that's totally acceptable too. Um, 
or like so. Uh, either or, I just need to see them in the front and the side viewport, and that's it. So um, that's all I've got for you in this video. Um, I hope it's useful. Um, it's such a good idea to model things with reference. Um, I really don't start any serious model without any type of uh, reference image, um, even if it's something I just doodled up myself, um, because it gives me much more... Uh, clear idea of what I'm modeling when I'm in the software and um, sort of what my end goal is uh, but yeah um, if you have any questions be sure to message me um, and thank you for watching